So your home has been equipped with a unique safety system. As you probably already know, your home has residential fire sprinklers. Uh, Gold Seal believes that we can protect our occupants uh, with residential fire sprinklers, allow them to get out of the house faster in the event of a fire and protect their belongings. This is actually one of the exposed heads that we have in the basement of one of our homes. I'm gonna show you uh, what the inner workings look like, uh, how the uh, caps can be replaced and give you a little bit more explanation on the unit. They are heat activated. They are not smoke activated. This is a demand loop system as well. Important fact to know, it's connected to your water supply. As you can see through uh, this video, the water supply pipe would be connected to all of your other water features in the homes, your toilets, sinks, dishwashers, etc. So every time you use a water utility in the home, the system is flushed and there's fresh water. No sediment uh, remains in the system. As I was saying, they are heat activated and only the unit directly below the source of heat uh, will engage. We'll show you what the inner workings look like now. So this is a protective cap that covers a typical sprinkler. In a finished area, there'll be drywall and you won't see the housing behind. So we're gonna show you the inside of this unit. The cap simply screws off. And in the event of a fire, this cap will separate. The solder inside the cap will separate. The cap will fall off at a very low temperature. The diverter will drop and there is a small glass vial inside the unit that will burst and it'll allow water to flow. We'll have water flowing at 13 gallons per minute and it was typically enough to control the seat of the fire and or extinguish a typical house fire. After a fire, after a unit's been engaged, uh, plumbing, a plumbing uh, contractor or a fire crew can simply come with another provided unit uh, cap which we'll show you and uh, replace the head unit and reinstall the cap uh, so the system is operational again. So we're in the utility room right now and we're simulating the after, the, the after effects of potential fire in the home. So either the homeowner or the fire crew have shut off the water supply. This has shut off the flow of water to the sprinkler head. The fire crew or the plumbing contractor that attends the home can come to this red box. It's in every utility room there will be three heads supplied. They can reinstall a new sprinkler head. Now your system is back and operational. We've provided the appropriate socket for your contractor or fire crew to install the head and that's located right next to the box. Once the head has been reinstalled, water flow can be turned back on and your system is up and running and your water supply uh, is uh, functioning inside the home. You may experience some air in some of your lines simply go to the furthest point of your water system, typically the upstairs bathroom, run your water for about five minutes to make sure there's air removed from the system. Some other important facts to know about a residential fire sprinkler system. If you require a lawn service um, to water your lawn or water softener, there is a bypass that needs to be installed for your sprinkler system so that it operates properly. There is a warning tag here so that any plumber installing a new system is made aware of it. Upanor uh, is our supplier for the system and they do have uh, very simple solutions in both cases.